Hello, today we're talking reflectors. Pop-up reflectors. Pop-up reflectors are one of the most versatile pieces of equipment that you can buy. And they're so cheap. So you have zero excuses if you don't have one of these bad boys. Now let me show you exactly what pop-up reflectors are capable of. And don't forget for more content like this on cinematography and lighting, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. Alrighty, first up, we're gonna see the super basic stuff that you could do with a pop-up reflector. The black side can act as a flag and block the lighting or sun off of the actors. What it can also do is give you a negative fill for a more contrasty look. And it can also be used as a small black backdrop. The white side, on the other hand, can reflect and bounce light from any angle that you like. At the same time, it can be used as a clean white backdrop. The silver side reflects a harder light and it also gives it a bluish, cool color. The gold side also reflects a harsh light, but the difference here is that the gold side gives you a warmer, orangey kind of color. Both of these are super handy to use when you have only one light and at the same time you want a backlight hitting your subject. They catch the light coming from the key light and reflect it onto your subject as a backlight. Boom! Two lights. Magic! Another really cool trick that you could do with the silver and gold side is imitating the flickering light of a candle or even the TV light. Alrighty, fifth element, diffusion. This awesomeness can turn your hard, small source of light into a large and soft one. And the cool thing about it is that you don't only have to use it with lighting fixtures, but you could also use it with outdoor natural light, as it helps you so much in breaking up the harshness of the sunlight, specifically if you're shooting midday or something. So what we just saw is just the normal uses you can get out of a pop-up filter. But now, it's time to get to the creative ones. Too hot? No problemo. Grab that huge and light pop-up reflector and blow some air onto the subject. Ah, look, flying hair. Slow-mo time! But yeah, you can give your subject a gust of air so that you can get like some hair flying action stuff. But that's not the only thing you could wave it with. Try it with your haze or smoke machine. It helps break up the haze faster, so you don't have a clear big lump of smoke in your shot. Cruise in the middle of the sun. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So the DP needs some shade for the monitor, because the soon to be fired assistant forgot the hood. It's fine. Wanna test if your new assistant actually is an assistant? Perfect. Throw it on him and tell him to pack it up. Another one that you could do is a cool shining spinny thingy. So you're outside and you can't find any place to put your kit down because of the dirt. Just don't worry about it, man. Doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Bored? Frisbee! Seriously, you need this thing. Just get it in your kit now. But what you really need, much more than a pop-up reflector, is to learn what a key light is. Check this video out if you want to be more awesome than you already are. Or awesomer. Or something like that. For now, Sine stuff out.